Hey everyone, thanks for being with us. I am Robert Olguin. And I'm Liz Dewicki. So the Socorro School Board President is addressing the community after its superintendent was just placed on paid leave. Yeah, we have team coverage tonight. Harrison Parker shows us how we got to this point in that school district. But first, we go to Jennifer Cuevas, who just got out of a news conference with the school board president. Jennifer. Well, during that press conference, the superintendent, or I'm sorry, the board president of SISD did not necessarily give information, but rather just took questions from the media. Now, the board president, Michael Najera, said yesterday's decision was made after an audit completed by the company Weaver presented a possible conflict of interest where Dr. Carmen was involved as a party there. Now, President Najera also said that when there is a violation, it's standard procedure to place an employee on administrative leave pending that investigation. And when I asked him if it was easier to just go ahead and cut ties with the superintendent, he said that Texas law prevents them from doing so. Now, I also asked the board president if he has any plans on resigning, giving the findings from that audit. As of now, he says no. And we now send it over to KFOX 14 Harrison's Parker, who will tell us more on how the district got to this point. Well, Superintendent Nate Carmen was suspended indefinitely after an outside auditor found issues with his relationship with a district supplier. On March 22nd, 2022, this, this would have been within a week or so of Dr. Carmen officially starting his role as superintendent at Socorro ISD. That's Travis Kastner from Weaver, the outside accounting firm. He laid out a detailed timeline of Nate Carmen's relationship with ABM Group, a company that offers architectural consulting. Weaver reviewed months of Carmen's emails with ADM, which suggests that Carmen had been working with ADM even before he applied to be Socorro's superintendent. Before he even started the job, he implied ADM could have business under his watch. Well, uh, with the representative from ADM Group, where he discussed uh, the possible facilities analysis of auxiliary gyms, which were also referred to as the multi-purpose buildings, uh, and that, that that work may be in store sooner rather than later. Weaver said Carmen and other board members attended an ADM event in San Diego while soliciting bids for architectural consulting. Less than one month after becoming chair of the administration committee involved in choosing a vendor, ADM was selected for a contract that Weaver said stands around $90,000. 